Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Rome Agent Pro. That's right, they made a pro version. This board features Rome's Fusion Camber, which is rocker in the nose, then camber throughout the rest of the board. That rocker in the nose is gonna give you an optimal sweet spot for pressing, as well as more optimal powder float and ease of entry in and out of turns. But that camber section through the middle is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive for this board. This board is available in 151, 154, 157, 160, 155 wide, 158 wide, 161 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that started with overcast skies and by the middle of it, it was a snowstorm. You had chop, chunder, perfect corduroy, leftover pow, so just a mix of everything. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. All right, so it's a twin middle of the road flexing park board. Nothing mind blowing here. More give in the tips, stiffer through the midsection with a fair amount of torsional flex. For what it is, it's actually fairly stable. You get a little bit of chatter right where that rocker section is and it slightly resonates back underfoot. And I mean slightly, you're probably not really gonna feel too much. In really rutted out terrain, it didn't get bucked around. I'm not saying that it can't happen. I'm just saying for me, it didn't get bucked around. It stayed on top of everything. And when there was push mounts, it just plowed right through them. That camber section of the board is so dominant and so easy to load up. When you roll back on the tail, it snaps. Now, you got two things that give you a little turbo boost on the tail, right? You got that double kick right there, so you can really get back on it. And then you've got that rod. So when you engage both of those, you're snapping to the moon. This board will pop. It will load up and pop over anything in front of it. You don't have to worry about it. Now with jumps, small, medium, large, it's got you covered. It can handle them all. Can you handle them? There you go. Want to be lazy and let the lip throw you? Perfect. Want to load up and see how high and far you can boost? Boom, go for it. It's gonna just send you further and higher than you thought. All right, so when it comes to buttering with this board, you got a little bit of rocker, you got that double kick, so if you get way out on it, you can engage it, but most of you are gonna engage it right in that rocker zone. And it's easy to engage. You leverage your weight out, you push into the nose, you push into the tail, it's gonna press and hold. You do have that rod, but it doesn't fight you. It just provides snap, which is nice. You can swizzle and sizzle on this thing and not worry about it. When it comes to jibbing, it locks into the feature. You hold that tail press or that nose press, and when you hit the end, little flick of the ankle, boom, you snap out of it because of that rod in the camber section. Going sideways with this board, it just hugs right around the feature. It doesn't clap out, it just hugs. What's nice about this being a pro version is it's not overly stiff, it's not super aggressive. It's still an approachable park board. So there's a quick and fluid edge-to-edge -edge power transmission. You notice it, especially with those short, tight, quick setup cars. You're like, boom, toe edge, bam, heel edge, and back and forth and back and forth. You don't have to worry about it. Now, one thing that you will notice with this board is there are limitations with the carving, and you notice them relatively fast. You wanna lay a deep trench and really just drive this thing over on edge? You can do it, but it's probably gonna kick out on you. It just hits that point where you're like, eh, it's not gonna let you. You just sort of like, okay. So it's those medium mellow carves to medium hard carves, as well as short, tight, quick setup turns where it stands out. Anything more than that, you gotta kind of just be aware you might end up on your ass or on your gut. Who's this board for? The all around freestyle rider that wants a little more dampness and pop. So this board is mildly stiffer than the regular agent. And I mean, mildly, you might notice it, but what you will notice is how much more damp and stable this thing is. It absorbs chatter better, and it's just got a smoother ride, which really does differentiate it from the regular agent. Sure, there's limitations with it on edge. That's fine, it's a twin park board. I expect that. But the fact that it's still approachable, like you don't have to be on your A game at all times to ride this, and it still performs, is what's nice. Overall, right move, right direction. For those guys that have bad knees and ankles, they need some more stability and dampening, this is what they should be looking at over the regular agent. Comparable boards, the Solomon Huck Knife Pro, the Capita Indoor Survival, the Arbor Westmark Camber. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Solomon Hologram, the Bent Metal Transfer. This has been my review of the Rome Agent Pro. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing 
any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.